I've got here the Wavlink, the AX3000, the Wi-Fi 6 outdoor access, long range outdoor Wi-Fi extender. Oh man, this is, you're gonna love this one. So this is the box it comes in. It's got um, some details on the box and around the side is QR code, box contents, and inside the box, there is a little box here that's marked up antennas and you'll notice these have all got different antennas going around this i'm going to come more to the actual main item in a moment but i'm just going to go through what's in the box and what this is so as i say it's a long range outdoor wi-fi extender you can connect this to a mesh system if you've got a mesh system and if you've got something like a campsite um, you're on a building site you're on a farmyard or you've got a very large property and you want to extend your Wi-Fi signal significantly longer and much more than it is at the moment this could be for you so we'll come to the main item in a moment so in the box there is a little accessory box and in there there is a little LAN cable a power adapter and a POE Ethernet adapter. A POE is a power over Ethernet. So this section of the setup will need to be indoors. Also in the box, excuse me, I'm outside and being booked. There is um, some mounting screws and some raw plugs. I have got a spanner for this which I'm going to explain what this is in a moment there are some instruction books there is a mounting template which I'll explain in a moment a quick start guide and some large zip ties which I'll explain in a moment what these are for so basically what's going to end up happening is you're going to take your Wi-Fi router so this is working on mobile data. So I'm actually outside at the moment. So this is actually working on a cell phone system. There's a aerial. And then what you're going to need to do is you'll plug in um, a LAN cable, sorry, get this, right, get this right way around. Your POE needs to plug in to the router like this this needs to be inside a building and then you can then plug in a LAN cable whatever length you want to which will then connect to the main Wavlink AX3000 and it's got 600 milliamps of power and it's got dual band and it's IP67 waterproof which I'm going to come to in a moment and I say it's ideal for campsite campgrounds things like this so if you're mounting this outside this all this comes off and basically what we're going to do is we're going to take the land cable we're going to feed it through the connector and then connect this up put a rubber grommet on it and that will then sort out the the connection and I should have said so the little rubber grommet you're thinking oh it won't go over if you notice this is actually split so this can sort of sit like this and then this will feed through and then it'll all, all screw into place so it's a little bit tight getting that through but anyway, anyway so there's your rubber so that sits into here this sits into here screws up and that's your LAN cable then which then this basically all that happens is this now will go into here and then this screws up and then with a the spanner you can do it a little bit tighter and say IP66 so that's it sort of connected and then we need to give it some power over the ethernet so we'll plug this into here and then we'll actually plug in the actual 
little adapter. I say I'm doing this outside at the moment. It's a, it's a beautiful day. It's all plugged in. And you possibly can't see, but the little light is on and everything will now start to configure. I'm not sure, did I mention? And then the, you've got all these aerials going on around here. And you'll see some of them are marked 4G and 2.4G. So that's the gigahertz network, not um, not generation, like a mobile generation. Uh, data transfer on this is up to 3,000 um, megabits per second. And your cable for this can be up to 100 meters. So if you now imagine your router is inside your property or wherever, You will then wire your LAN cable, let's say up to 100 meters. This can be mounted onto a post or a pole. So you, do you remember we have these here? So which will go through these slots here, or you can screw mount it if you so wish um, as well. So I was going to show some in a moment some some scenarios of, uh, of where we could actually mount this. So once this is all connected and the internet's live, you can also now go onto a laptop or a PC and reconfigure this even more if you wanted. It also will work. I mentioned a mesh system, so if you're working on mesh, but it will also work on Starlink as well. So when you do very first connect um, everything up and you connect, you'll, you'll, you'll get the Wi-Fi showing up here as being the WAV link and say you've got the 2.4 gigahertz or the five gigahertz. It will ask you to enter a admin section. So you just put the default name in, which ironically enough is admin. You'll then configure your country, then set a new password and hey presto, you are cooking on gas. There are lots of other things you can do if you so wish, like changing the Wi-Fi names and other configurations. I'm not going to do that um, now. If you're geeky, 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 you will know all about the configurations by putting the IP address in and going forward. But what we'll do, we'll, we'll, t we'll take a look now at some of the scenarios of where we could mount this. And then I've got um, my son with me, Lee, and I'm gonna get him possibly to go on to go for a walk and, and see how far the, um, the the actual Wi-Fi signal is extending. So as I say, campsites, farmyards, building sites, yeah, your own home, businesses, offices, um, shopping centres, anything like that. Uh, it, it, you, you can connect so many devices to it, and you are going to be so pleased. It is easy to set up and easy to I'm work. Just inside now, um, showing the admin section here with all some of the settings you you can do. So I'm not gonna go through all of these um, wireless settings and everything. Um, and you've got your devices, reboot, log out, stuff like that. Cheating, that's the Wi-Fi network we're on and speed test. This is a mobile, this is a mobile network. This is not fiber optic. That is cooking at, I think we just peaked out at over a hundred megabits. Um, incredible. And that's your upload speed at the moment. I think that just hit 29. So these are the averages. Your internet connection is very fast. You should be able to handle multiple streaming. Ex so again, we, we will show you some moment, in a moment some scenarios of where you can connect this to, but there's just to prove where we are. My laptop is right the other side of this building. And with Lee, we're now gonna go for a bit of a walk down the road and we're gonna see how far the phone signal is. Uh, so the, the Wi-Fi signal is via the we just walked up to an industrial estate from where our property is which is some distance over that way. Um, and I'm just doing a quick test on here. 
and yep yeah, I'm still definitely getting some um, some good signals you possibly can't see them uh, where we are at the moment but you better go for a walk Lee yeah. and pick up pick, pick up some um, Wi-Fi in the woods so for mounting this, as I say, if you wanted to mount it on a pole or a mount, you can do. You have got the template in the packet where you just put, basically put four screws and then this will go into here. But on the outside of your building quite easily, this is how you'd have it mounted. You would then obviously tidy up your LAN cable, you can have up to... Um, was it 100 meters of cable you could put this higher up into an attic or higher up on your building depending on the height of your building and it's simple and quick to set up and use there are links in the video description below if you want more information on this it's also incredibly affordable which is which is also important and as I say if you're looking at boosting that Wi-Fi signal onto the 2.4 gigahertz and the 5 gigahertz network this will do for you so some th systems like um, sec security cameras wi-fi cameras some of them will only work on the 2.4 gigahertz with this you've, you've got the 2.4 gigahertz as well as 5g so as well as power powering devices things like um, your cameras and other remote access um, devices this will be perfect for you wonderful for waveling to send this for this to send this to us um to review and i say there are links down there in the description below if you want more information